Beaver management can be a challenge, including their dams, which can cause flooding. But beavers are an integral component of healthy ecosystems and riparian areas, improving water quality, providing water storage and habitat, and adding resiliency to watersheds in times of both flood and drought. Using beaver coexistence techniques, like pond levelers, instead of removing their dams, is one way to prevent the negative impacts beavers cause, while keeping them on the landscape and gaining the benefits that they provide. Uh, we don't need to open up this dam that much. We're, we're basically just opening it up enough to get that pipe in. So we're only looking to make it a little 14 inch trench kind of thing. Roll these wherever you need them. So what we do is we take about uh, 30 or 40 feet of double walled uh, sewer pipe or culvert pipe. They, they just suck themselves up. Yeah, they, they go sort of through. So we're going to drill straight through and then kick over to the other side. And now what we've done is we've created a nice little slide to be able to slide our wires in like that. Just makes fish hooks for a little bit easier. And you can just kind of line it up. And really matter. Um, you know, any side that you want. If you know one side is flatter, you like to work it outside better, go for it. should be good to hold it. Exactly, just kind of around some crossbars or whatever. Exactly. <laughs> now it all makes sense, huh? In the deeper water situation, mostly we can get away with just some bricks. We'll put some uh, cinder blocks on it and just hold the whole thing down. So that whole pipe gets floated into place. Uh, we dig a trench in the in the dam, open it up a little bit. Uh, the outlet end gets stuck into that, and whatever height we set that outlet end of the dam is going to be the height that we're going to be able to maintain behind that water. Uh, we float the whole thing out into place, uh, pull our floats out, and then the cage and that inlet end sinks down into the bottom of our, our pond. Uh, once it's in, we um, usually use some concrete blocks to hold it down and some steel T-posts up at the front just to secure everything in place. And then we build the dam back up and over top of it. Uh, the beavers will come back in, they'll continue to work on that dam, continue to, to plug away on it, uh, but the water will continue to flow out the back side of that dam. Wow, that's awesome. Now, whatever height we set that outlet in is the height that we're going to maintain of the water behind it. So obviously the lower we bring that down, the lower that water is going to go. Um, anytime you can do it. A lot of times you're, it's going to be dependent on weather um, and water levels. So normally we don't start until sort of May or June once, you know, spring flooding starts to subside. And we'll work until end of September, early October, depending on how far north we are. Um, you know, when, if you start to see food caches and stuff like that starting to pop up, you know that they're really starting to prep for the winter. So you're going to be less likely to do as much or to drop levels as much. Midsummer is obviously your best time if you can get in in July and August. Sometimes then you don't mind swimming a pond level or out when it's, you know, <laughs> 35, 40 degrees out. <laughs>